nice spring day today but it is spring there is rain coming All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of The Urban Gardener. It is so awesome, so wonderful to have you join me on this episode today. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Click the notification button so you can get some notifications of upcoming episodes that we have here on The Urban Gardener. We've got some great, great garden adventures coming up for you. So please stay notified and check out those upcoming episodes. Today, it's one of those off and on kind of days. It's warm enough, the sun's out, it's cloudy, it's sunny, it's cloudy, but coming up, we've got some really big spring rains that are gonna happen. So I wanna get this garden project done today. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a rainwater collection system. I'm gonna take advantage of all these rains that are coming up this spring and be able to utilize that rainwater in our gardens. Let's go take a look at this project and let's get growing. So all right, let's talk about collecting rainwater for a minute. Um, it's widely misunderstood about collecting rainwater. I have uh, mentioned to people here where I live in Southern Oregon several times about wanting to set up a rainwater collection system for myself. And um, I've gotten a lot of uh, pushback from people saying it's illegal, you can't do that. And there's a lot of people who really truly believe that. Now here in Southern Oregon, there was a story a while back ago of a gentleman who lives maybe 15, 20 minutes up the road from me. And uh, he would set up not a rainwater collection system, but he was doing a rainwater diversion system. And a lot of people misunderstood that to mean that you can't collect rainwater off of your home or whatnot. This guy was doing a larger type of uh, project at his place, diverting rainwater. And it, you got to have permits for that. You got to have the right uh, authority to allow you to do that. It's an environmental issue at that point. But just collecting rainwater off of your downspouts, off of your house, is widely legal. Now, there are some restrictions out there here in the United States. I know that um, there are four states, I believe Arizona, Colorado, Illinois, and one other one. But I would check Google and uh, look up those sort of local uh, laws that you might have in your area that have certain levels of restrictions on collecting rainwater. Now there might be some certain restrictions, but for the most part, you're probably going to be able to collect rainwater. Now, I'd like to hear about any stories of collecting rainwater or anything you might have had problems with with authorities or not in your area. Please put that in the comment section down below. I'd like to hear about that. Um, but here where I live, I have checked it out widely and know that it is actually legal for me to collect rainwater. So that's what we're going to do today. I have a rainwater collection system that I've set up and then we're going to set up right here. We're going to replace our downspout and have it collecting rainwater so that we can feed our garden when it starts to dry out a little bit later in the season. So all right, let's go over the parts and supplies that we're going to be utilizing for our rain catchment system that we have here. Now, all of the parts and all the pieces that I'm using, I'll have listed down below with links to where you can check them out online. Now, uh, this did cost probably around $40 or so to put together. I opted for uh, two 20-gallon uh, trash bins that I bought at the local department store. We're going to stack these two bins on top of each other and we're going to utilize one of them to drain into the other as the bottom one drains out. So we'll use the rainwater from the bottom one first and then we'll flow in the one from the top in order to fill back up the bottom one when we've used that water and then collect water in the top one from there. So you're gonna need a on-off drain spout here for your bottom collection bin. There'll be two bulkheads. These are going to connect to the top one and to the bottom one in order to connect those two together in order to drain the water from the top one into the bottom one. And an on-off spout for that as well. You'll be connecting those two with the bulkheads there, the two bulkheads there with this uh, 
piece of uh, hose that's got two female ends on it, and that'll hook both of our ring collection bins together. And we've got some sealant for those spouts. You'll also need a drill with a one inch bit. So there we go. We just put a hole drilled into the bottom collection bin here, just above the ridge there, so that we can get a nice seal. And after we've drilled that in, we're going to put some of our sealant right around the edge. Make sure we got plenty there for a really good seal. Once we got some all around on our outer edge, I'm going to repeat that on the inside as well. So now we can put our drain spout in. Twist that on nice and tight. And then put this on the other side there to make our seal really, really tight. So after putting the uh, drain spout on, we're going to drill another one inch hole right up at the very top edge of our bottom collection bin and I've also drilled another hole here for overflow. So after drilling the hole we're going to do the same thing with the sealant. So now in order to stack these two on top of each other, I've cut out a round piece of plywood, fit around the edge, plenty of room all around the edge so that it can hold that up. So all right, we've got our bottom bin here, another one inch hole with good sealing around it, and we'll put in our other bulkhead. All right, so now that we've got those bulkheads put into place, we need our on-off spout now. We'll just attach that right to the bottom one. And then we're gonna take our hose here with the two female ends. Now I did just cut a piece of old hose that I had and put these two pieces on here. You can get those pieces at your local department store as well, or garden center. So just attach one to the bottom and then attach that one to the top bin. So now that we've got these connected here, our hoses connected to each the bottom and the top, when the bottom one is used up and we've used the water from the bottom one and we've got a full barrel on top, all we got to do now is turn the switch and the water will flow and fill back the bottom one up and then we can wait for the next rain in order to fill our top one back up again. To finish off our rain catchment system here we're going to need something to connect our rain barrels with the downspout. So I picked one of these up here and it just you can manipulate it and move it to get it just right. 
I'm just going to attach that onto the downspout. So after attaching our flex spout to our downspout on our house, what we need to do is, is take the lid of our top pail and cut out an opening for the flex spout. There we are, we're all set up. We've got our rain catchment system all put in. Got our flex spout right into the top one here. And when this one fills up, it'll be flowing straight down into the bottom one. Once that starts to overflow, we'll turn our on off spout there. Shut it off so that the bottom one We'll hold the water and we can refill the top one. And real soon, we should be getting water coming right out of our spout. Just gotta wait for some rain now. So all right, what a nice fun little project for us here in the Urban Gardens to be able to get a nice rain catchment system here. We've got our rain barrels all set up and I think we got them set up just in time. We've got a bunch of really nice rain clouds up above so these things should fill up soon and we'll be able to utilize all of that nice rain water in our gardens. I wanna thank you all again so much for joining me on this episode. Please give it a big, big thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything at all, you know, hit me up in that comment section down below. I'd love to answer any questions you might have. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, follow along with more garden adventures as we keep growing here this season. And I'll see you all again on the very next episode. If we <laughs> they keep doing that follow along beforehand and afterhand, I don't know. I get this here real soon. Um, but today, no, eh, I think that last one was actually probably the better one. Uh, the rain and collect it and blah blah blah. Take advantage of some of these really great uh, spring rains that are going to be coming up here, and I want to take advantage of that and collect rainwater. So you can't say take advantage of that twice. Collect some rainwater. That one's all right. Let's see what we can do. Let's try one more time. A couple of 20 gallon. It's getting a little windy here. So let's give that emergency vehicle a second. Airplanes and emergency vehicles get in the way all the time. That's why we take a bunch of takes because we'll get the right one in there when we need it.